Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to edit a photo in four simple steps when it comes to Photoshop. And this is going to be a very short and detailed kind of video. So, in order to edit in four simple steps, first of all, import the photo when it comes to Photoshop. And as soon as you open up a raw image in Photoshop, it is going to automatically open up in Camera Raw. So, in Camera Raw, you're just going to come and create the contrast and lighting issues regarding the very image. So, I'll just come to the highlights and simply drop the highlights and take the whites down. I'll open up the shadows and take the blacks down of this image. I'll just come and add contrast to the image. And I'll simply increase on the exposure of this very image just like that. And you can see before, after. Then I'll come to the color mix set, play around with the colors in the image regarding the greens in this case. Since I want the greens to pop in this very image, I just come to hues and you can change the greens to your taste or to your liking. So I'm just going to slightly increase on the hue of the greens towards the aqua side. So after doing that, the next step is going to be coming to saturation and slightly reducing on the saturation or the intensity of the greens in the image. By just doing that, you can see the before, after, before, after. After this, just come and open the image into Photoshop. So we are done with step number one for editing a photo in Photoshop. And step number two is going to be about how to do skin retouching. And we are going to be using frequency separation as a skin retouching method or technique. So just come to this background layer and drag and drop down here to create two copies from the background layer just like that and after doing this you can rename these layers to color and texture so the middle layer is color and the upper layer is texture and after renaming these layers come to the color layer turn off the texture layer come to filter come to blur come to gaussian blur take the radius slider down click on the skin area that has more skin textures and move the radius slider up and stop at that point whereby you are just starting to lose out on the skin textures click ok come and select the texture layer turn it on come to image apply image source is the name of the photo that you're editing under layer select color layer channel has to be set to rgb blending has to be set to add because this is a 16 bit 16 bit image scale is to offset zero Turn on the invert option and click OK. Change the blend mode from normal and change it to linear light. Then select both layers, both the color and texture layer, and drag and put them into a group. After grouping this, you can rename the group to frequency separation. Once you're done doing this, open up the group by clicking on the drop down arrow. Select the color layer. Then you're going to come to the brushes and get the mixer brush tool. And for the settings, make sure hardness is set to zero. Soft round brush is selected. Then make sure clean brush is selected. And this second option that is clean brush after a stroke is selected. Weight is 9%, load 75%. Mix is 90%, flow is 100%. Make sure sample alias is not checked in this case. So after doing this, I prefer to turn off the texture layer so that I can work on the colors without having any kind of interference from the textures so I'll slightly zoom in by using command plus on the keyboard or you can use control plus on the keyboard slightly zoom in but don't zoom all the way in reduce on the size of the brush by using the square bracket keys on the keyboard and start blending like that so cl click and hold down and you blend the mid-tones alone the highlights alone and the shadows alone in the image just like this you can see what we have in this case so blend the mid-tones alone the highlights alone and the shadows alone and make sure you don't use a very big brush because when you use a very big brush, you can't have control over it. So blend like that. And you have to follow the direction of the facial or body structures of your subject or your model. So mix the mid-tones alone, the highlights alone, and the shadows alone in your image. And as you do this, you can see the skin is going to start looking smooth than where we started. So I'm just going to do this for the rest of the areas that have or contain skin tones or skin color in this overall image so use a very small brush and by that reduce or increase on the size of the brush i'm using the open and close square bracket keys on the keyboard so that i can increase or reduce on the size of the brushes so i'm just going to blend like that click and hold down and after blending a given color release the click button and click once again and hold down and drag to blend on a given new area so that you can smoothen those areas so i'll do this for the rest of the remaining part of the body 
I'll just blend this line like that. Once you're done blending, the next step is going to be removing the pimples or blemishes. So right now we are on step number two for photo editing. So just come and turn on the texture layer. And as soon as you turn it on, you can step before, after, before and after by clicking on the eye icon on this frequency separation layer. So after this, come to the texture layer. So it is time to remove the pimples or textures in the image that you don't want. Come and get the clone stamp tool and make sure the hardness is set to zero. Mode is normal opacity and flat 100%. Then make sure aligned is checked. Then sample is set to current layer because we want to remove pimples or blemishes that are part of the currently selected layer, which is the texture layer in the group. So zoom in by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard, or you can use Command plus on the keyboard to zoom all the way in. So to remove a pimple, for example, on the forehead area in this case, hold down the Option key on the keyboard, alternate for Windows, Option, click on a clean area, but make sure that the size of the clone stamp tool is slightly bigger than the pimple or the blemish that you want to remove. So look for a clean area near the pimple or the blemish and hold down the Option key on the keyboard. Option and click on that clean area near the pimple. Release the Option key on the keyboard and click once again over the pimple to cover or remove that blemish. So you, you have to be or continue doing that for the rest of the pimples all over the image. So Command minus to zoom out. So to remove, for example, this line, I'm just going to slightly zoom in. To remove a line, hold and Option key on the keyboard, sample, just close to that line and simply click and drag down to eliminate or get rid of that line from the image, just like that. So we have been able to remove majority of the imperfections regarding textures, Command-0 to zoom out. So I'm just going to close the frequency separation group and you can say before, after, before, after. We are done with step number two for photo editing and we're going to go to step number three which is color grading so in order to color grade this very image we are going to create a merge layer or a stamp visible layer by pressing shift option command e on the keyboard for windows to shift alternate control e on the keyboard to create a merge or stamp visible layer then you're going to come to select and come to subject so that you can select the edges of the subject in this case then after doing this you can see Photoshop has selected the edges of the subject. Come to the new layer icon and create a new layer. Change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to color. And after changing the blend mode, just come to the brushes and get the brush tool and make sure for the settings, make sure a soft round brush is selected. The mode is set to normal, opacity at 100%, flat 100%. And I'm just going to zoom in. So for this point, we just want to sample a color that we prefer on the model skin. So choose a color of your choice because for this step, we just want to create nice and uniform skin color or skin tones for our image. So hold on the option key on the keyboard and choose a color of your preference so option and click on that color that you want or prefer regarding the model skin. So I will always recommend that you sample from the first area and after sampling that color, start painting. So to paint simply, click and hold down and start painting that given color all over the model skin, just like that. But as you're doing all this, keep away from painting makeup or painting on the hair because at the end of the day, you don't want to change or distort the makeup that was applied to your model or your subject is first. So reduce on the size and just paint like this. So right now we are doing or we are working on step number three for photo editing. So one was about processing the raw image. Step number two was about the skin retouching and right now we are trying to color grade the image to make it look better at this point so you can see the face and the neck now look alike or they are uniform and i'm just going to zoom out and increase on the size and paint on the hand and you can see as soon as i start painting on the hand you can see the color is now looking nice beautiful and uniform so i'll just do this quickly because i don't want the tutorial to be the usual long ones that I have on the channel. So I'll reduce on the size of the brush and paint onto the fingers, just like that. And as you can see, this hand looks better and it is having the same color with the face. So I'll just do the same for the second hand, 
just like that. So make sure that as you're doing all this, you don't leave out any part that has or contains the skin. So I'll just paint like that. So in case you make a mistake during the painting process, simply get the eraser tool and make sure the mode is set to brush. So the eraser tool is this one. The shortcut is E on the keyboard. And you can zoom in by using Command Plus on the keyboard. And make sure the mode is brush opacity and the flat 100%. And simply rub away or erase colors from areas that you did not want to paint in the first place. So just going to reduce on the size. Or press B for the brush. E for the eraser. So in case you missed out a given area, press B for the brush. E for the eraser. So B for the brush. And I'll paint just below her lips. Command minus to zoom out. So right now you can see the color of the skin now looks beautiful and even and uniform. So this may sometimes look unnatural and unrealistic. So just come to the opacity of the color and reduce on the opacity to your taste or to your like. Is that about uh, negative 77 is okay. Then I'll press Ctrl D or you can use Command D to deselect the active selection. Then come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. So in case the skin color is looking too reddish or too greenish, come to the reds and simply play around with the hue values of the reds. So I'll go with around three. Two looks okay. Then I'll come to the lightness because the skin looks too orange. And I'll simply take down the lightness just like that. Trim, move or reduce on the amount of oranges in the skin color or in the skin tone. So negative 13 looks okay. You can say before, after. So right now we are going to play around with the blacks in the image by simply coming to selective color. Come to the blacks and come to the science. And you can increase on the science just like that to make the blacks look better and richer and a little bit more cinematic. So after doing this, you can even come to the blacks and slightly enhance the blacks in the image by adding a tiny bit of blacks to the image. You can say before and after for just a selective color. And you can do this for every color in the image to manipulate or change it. So you can see what we have in this case. So let's do a little bit of eye whitening. Come to adjustments and come to hue and saturation. Measure master is selected. Come to saturation and take the saturation all the way down to around negative 78. Then with this white line mask selected, press Ctrl I or you can use Command I on the keyboard to invert the effect. Get the brush tool and make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches. So in order to have black and white on the color swatches, to reset, press D on the keyboard or simply click on these tiny swatches. So make sure white is the top color. Get the brush tool opacity and the flat 100%. And now zoom in by using Command Plus on the keyboard. Or you can use Control Plus on the keyboard. Once you're done doing that, reduce on the size of the brush by using the square bracket keys on the keyboard. And start painting on what you feel is meant to be white in the white area of the eye. So right now we are done with step number three for this kind of a video or for this kind of tutorial. Just like that. So Command Zero to zoom out. So after doing this, the next step is going to be... We can do a little bit of liquify right here on the hips. So create a stamp visible layer by pressing Shift Option Command E on the keyboard. Shift Alternate Control E on the keyboard to create another stamp visible layer. Then simply come to Filter. Then come to Liquify because Liquify is going to make the photo a little bit more flexible. So make sure that the forward warp tool is selected. Then for your settings, make sure the pressure is set to 100. I'm just going to come and simply push the hips just like that. And you can see that this makes the hips look better like that. So you can as well enhance her body features or correct some body structures in the image. And click OK. Don't overdo the liquify. So right now we are done with the skin retouching, color grading, and processing the raw image. So you are going to go to the last step of photo editing, which is saving the image. So now to save the image, first of all, I'm just going to crop the image in a ratio of 45 or 8 by 10. And just crop it in a little bit like that. Hit enter or return. And after cropping the image, 
I'm just going to come and save the image. So now to save the image, simply come to File, Export, and come to Export As. When you come to Export As, simply come to the format. Make sure the format of your image is set to JPEG. Quality set the maximum, which is 7 for this case. Since you want a very sharp image after saving, make sure the resample is set to by cubic sharper. Then scroll down to where you see color space in case you don't want the photo to change in color when you post it or when you print it out, make sure the color space is set to convert sRGB and the embed color profile. Make sure these two are checked. Click on export and look for where you want to save the image. And you can rename the image to your test or to your liking and click on save. So this is how you can simply learn how to edit photos in Photoshop from the start to the very end. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating.